hello traders welcome to another weekly forex market overview with me pierre from uh, pafx i hope you all had a great trading week as you know i couldn't uh, do a weekly overview last week since i was uh, traveling so uh, yeah now i'm back and uh, we are back to business as usual every sunday the same time um, we have a um, very interesting trading week uh, ahead of us uh, uh, for next week and it's gonna be uh, really really interesting to see how some pairs do welcome to all of you welcome uh, debrim welcome hello carlos welcome buddy <laughs> thank you thank you um, yes guys uh, as usual let me just let the uh, disclaimer roll and uh, that you need to read it and understand the risk involved in uh, trading uh, please uh, do not take any of uh, what I'm saying in this session today as a signal this is only the way I will uh, trade the market or the way I see the market so yeah very very important if you do like this session please do not forget to uh, click the like button and uh, show your support yeah yeah let's get started and as usual we start with uh, taking a look at the, the news for next week and as you see we have a lot of um, major impact news i have only the major impact uh, the medium impact is not here in this um, uh, in this uh, table but as you see we had uh, lots of currency that have uh, major news coming um, and uh, you should keep an eye on that uh, especially we start the week with uh, some important uh, aussie news some new zealand news and uh, for the sterling the service pmi gonna be also very very important since uh, most of uh, the uh, great britain's economy is about service so this report gonna be very important keep an eye on that and of course the non-farm week so as i said it is a very very important week if we look at the economic calendar and if that was not enough we do have some uh, issues that you should uh, keep an eye on and that would be this situation the investigation about uh, uh, contact with Russia from the uh, Americans and uh, the Flynn to testify about against Trump maybe so very very important to keep an eye on this that's why we had that crazy spike uh, last Friday um, in the markets and we do have also we keep having um, the brexit talk and uh, the monday gonna be a deadline for theresa may to come with some uh, um, better deal about the uh, money that they're gonna pay uh, to uh, make the divorce so you you have to keep an eye on those headlines because uh, it is very important and it may be uh, another bumpy week so um, yeah uh, do not uh, trade without knowing what's going on in the uh, especially the peers you are uh, trading yep we start with the Dixie on the daily <laughs> and as you see guys we are inside this uh, downtrend channel uh, I've been uh, in this downtrend channel since uh, the first week uh, almost the first week of November and it seems like uh, the dollar having problem to um, trade out for a possible continuation higher and uh, that's not so strange looking at uh, what's going on around so um, it seems like um, at least that uh, the 92 uh, 60 level that we measured it we mentioned very very early uh, in the start of november that it may be gonna be a possible support level as for now it did hold and got another uh, retest uh, last uh, friday and we got another uh, bounce from here on uh, lower time frame so 
it is uh, an important level to keep an eye on uh, for next week and as you see here those uh, bearish candle here this one and this one uh, they may are telling us what the market want to really do uh, if we compare all the down move they were very very big and uh, strong movement the up move they don't have the same uh, conviction behind as the down move so this make me think that there is possibly some more uh, weakness uh, in the in, uh, in the USD uh, this uh, coming months but we should uh, expect some sideways uh, trading um, during this week maybe some movement at the start Monday Tuesday and then it should go some sideways ahead of the NFP yeah so very important level to watch down here and of course this area up here around the uh, monthly pivot point we do also have another possible uh, uh, resistant level uh, to look at uh, as you see here this area got broken and retested once so we want to see what will go on if we do another test here if we may see some bounce play here inside this channel uh, for next week until the NFP uh, those are the expectations for uh, the Dixie <clears throat> gold here I think something very very important if you uh, take a look at the Dixie as we did I did publish uh, this chart uh, in my uh, over my Facebook and telegram and I was talking about um, the correlation is not going so well right now if you look at this uh, swing to the downside gold is only making this little swing to the upside which looking like a correction so they are not really correlated right now which make uh, things a little bit harder especially for new traders if you want to make your intermarket analysis that make you a little bit confused so uh, we want to see these two uh, start uh, uh, moving in a better harmonic way which is gonna make things much much easier and i think the reason is uh, a lot of uncertainty in the market if we look at the stock market we see that it lives its own world it's look like more <laughs> it's going higher more like uh, bitcoins a uh, crazy movement to the upside especially uh, this last week and even though we got that fling news to the downside it was only a reason for investors to buy buy the dips uh, here at the uh, i think it was the uh, daily s2 down here last week as you see here and it was only another reason uh, for investors to buy uh, the dip so uh, very wild uh, stock market and uh, i'm not sure really why and what's what's really going on is it really so healthy economy we have or is it still the trump trade going on now with the uh, uh, tax bill also seems to be ready so uh, it makes things even more volatile and uh, interesting as I said so you have to keep an eye on that but technicals on gold we still inside uh, this channel where we did talk about the 1260 level and the uh, 1300 level as the area of support and resistance we are still playing inside that box nothing has changed and we do not need to change the plan we should keep trying to sell uh, the high of the box or buy the low of uh, the 1260 if it got tested until we have a break out to the downside or to the upside yeah i would highly recommend you that you trade the extreme levels up here as you see it's very very important level or the 1260 until you get a break out um and uh, preferably maybe is by the low since we gonna be testing the daily 200 moving average at this area down here yeah 
Uh, as for now, we're still trading above the 200 daily moving average, which is a little bit of, um, you can say we're still in a, uh, in an uptrend, yeah? <coughs> oil. I have nothing more to say. I'm still bullish on oil since um, this move started here. I've been telling you guys we should be bullish on oil. And now uh, since we broke the 55 area and we uh, the price got accepted as you see on the retest to the 55 OPEC did uh, OPEC and non OPEC countries uh, did uh, uh, accept uh, extended cut in oil production which is good for oil uh, prices I think all those countries want uh, a little bit higher oil prices especially Saudi Arabia who's having a big of lots of troubles uh, and money issues in the country so uh, there is um, some reasons behind these moves and uh, I think long term we may see the retest of this area up here around the 61 62 level up here is uh, very very possible um, is it worth it to buy it here no, I'm not sure I, I, I wouldn't say so I would gladly see another move back down uh, here uh, toward the 55 area that would be great level but if you don't get that you have this area here around the monthly pivot point of uh, December month pivot point that would be the first level to try to look for bullish evidence for another uh, bounce higher from uh, this level yeah <coughs> Hello Juan, Adrian, Bruce, Timothy, <laughs> welcome guys. Um, Adi Chief, in my uh, trading room we was looking for a possible long on this one. We took uh, many longs, some went to break even, some a uh, little bit of profit. Since we were looking at this um, uh, possible wedge here and you're gonna see it better on the 4 hour. We had uh, bullish divergence on the RSI and uh, Friday uh, many of us was like very happy about the start of the move but then as you see the price was almost up here but then we got those uh, Flynn news and um, we got the spike to the downside so this wedge now um, idea maybe is invalidated but we still have as you see here on the RSI we still have the divergence so this is for the four hour short term but if we look at it on the weekly guys um, you're gonna see that we now broke below um, last week and uh, there is nothing structure wise to hold it maybe this neckline otherwise it seems uh, free fall back down toward the uh, monthly S2 at 0.72 500 area down here. So uh, if we go to the daily, we see also we keep breaking lower. And uh, I think it is uh, probably time to change the plan on this one for us, at least in the room. And um, yeah, look for another bounce, another retest. To this area here if we got any bearish evidence to uh, f take a trend continuation instead uh, for this one um, there is as I said once again uh, structure wise not much uh, left to hold it as you see no man's land here possibly the neckline here or otherwise we are moving uh, lower Aussie USD, the AB equal CD did not really complete back down at this structure. We got a nice bounce, another retest, and now we have a nice looking uh, and possible uh, double bottom scenario with a bullish engulfing on Friday. Uh, the Aussie was moving well even before the Flynn news because uh, if we look on the 15 minute chart the this was uh, the spike of uh, the Flynn news uh, from the USA 
and as you see before that the pair was moving nicely to the upside to break out of the consolidation so I still see there is strengths, uh, some strengths in uh, possibly coming in to uh, commodity pairs, Aussie, New Zealand, CAD. And um, I think that this uh, possible double bottom uh, could uh, go well this time. Uh, to be more sure of this trade, of course, you want to see uh, a break out of the neckline or if we get another retest back lower next week on smaller time for lower time frame maybe you can try to buy uh, this level once again to get better risk to reward in anticipation that we may broke the neckline if that happened then i think it is uh, possibly that we do reach the monthly r1 or even these highs up here yeah so this is what I have about Aussie USD and uh, a break below here would send us back down to this important level where we do have the monthly S1 and this possible major trend line which is also another good and possible uh, buy level but since we have this possible double bottom here and the bullish engulfing last Friday we uh, probably want to try to buy it at uh, this level up here first very nice bullish divergence here as you see on the RSI also. Euro Aussie also making a nice ascending wedge which usually um, a possible um, reversal pattern especially with um, when we have uh, bearish divergence on the RSI we have like three top divergence right now on the RSI last Friday was a nice uh, sell signal with a bearish engulfing candle as you see very big uh, candle um, if we go down to the four hour to try to find a possible trade uh, idea we see we had a breakout that could uh, be a possible fake out here so now uh, many buyers are trapped uh, to the upside so if this is if this pair reach this area here this would be uh, a possible stop loss pocket down here those who went long here possibly uh, they have the stop losses here and we have an possible another stop loss pocket back down here for those who went long here so um, still very early and uh, we don't want to pick tops and bottoms but based on the level itself based on bearish engulfing last friday uh, divergence on the rsi important um, and possible supply level looking left uh, all that uh, may uh, give us a possible idea that we may go lower especially after this strong move to the downside so to be more sure and safe you can wait for a break of this neckline at this level you can wait for uh, that let me change this so want to see a break a retest probably a deeper retest of the trend line and the neckline and uh, look for bearish uh, evidence uh, at that level um, another scenario of course if we got another retest uh, higher another uh, move to the upside maybe to this level at first and uh, look for bearish evidence in this area in anticipation that we're gonna trade lower and break this neckline yeah um, there is very put good potential uh, target uh, on this trade we um, long term if we break this level and this level then of course there is not much left um, and uh, the, the long-term target if we break these levels is uh, down here of course yeah as you see it is a major and empty area here it's scary how empty it is inside this uh, box down here yeah but we want to wait to see uh, some more evidence and the breakout to be more sure yeah <coughs> Eurocat wow 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 <laughs> very strong CAD news last week uh, last Friday and uh, you surely know guys 
uh, if we look at these numbers, uh, the empl uh, employment change was a very, very big number, more than expectation, more than the previous. GDP was also very good. And unemployment rate was 5.9. It was like huge and major numbers from uh, the CAD last week which is um, another reason that we may uh, buy CAD which means sell EuroCAD, USD CAD uh, <coughs> pairs and um, as you see here this British engulfing candle took out the whole week's uh, gain and um, yeah we should be looking for another uh, correction higher next week at least 50% of this candle would be great which gonna send us inside this uh, possible uh, supply level here and many traders are trapped inside here now after uh, this possible uh, move to the upside this breakout if we look it is a very very important level looking left uh, it is it did trade above the Trump election spike also so many long trader are stuck here and um, there is surely some stop losses that got triggered and those who went long at this level here they have the stop somewhere here and I think this area here gonna be a little bit uh, defend uh, we're gonna find some defense here but with those numbers, I think uh, CAD uh, may move uh, strongly uh, the rest of the months, yeah, and live on that. So, a correction higher, at least 50% of this candle on all CAD, actually, and bullish evidence at these levels. And the uh, first target should be monthly S1 uh, or this uh, low down here, yeah. If that broken, of course, uh, the next level would be uh, back down at 1.47. But uh, that is uh, very long term, yeah. For our nothing else than uh, British, uh, once again, last Friday. But uh, it is, as you see, a very, very extended move. And uh, of course, we want some correction higher before we enter and that correction would be great if we get back inside this uh, supply area before entering any trade on that your chief another ascending wedge another bearish engulf uh, bearish divergence another bearish engulfing <laughs> um, the only thing here we don't really have um, structure looking left uh, this the the most uh, important level is up here the 1.200 uh, but as you see uh, this ascending wedge uh, the momentum was getting out and uh, we were trading sideways in this box and on friday we got this uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, we still want to see a break of this uh, tre uh, trend line before being more sure and uh, as the rest of the uh, other pairs that looks like this the same as uh, euro aussie we want to see a break of the trend line a retest and uh, continuation if we want to short it or if we get another uh, bounce to the upside so if we look at it on the four hour you see that we have a very clear range this is the bigger range this is the smaller one if we want to go with the bigger range it looks like this uh, let me change that a little bit so we can see it better so we have this box here and we have another inside uh, a little bit smaller range here but i would say the bigger range is the one to work with so you can keep trading uh, this box until a breakout but such we have we have we've been at such a high level i think the selling is the most 
momentum in the cell candles as you see uh, how big the uh, when we are uh, when we're seeing bearish candle they are much bigger and with stronger momentum than the up moves yeah the up moves take a long of time but the down move was uh, strong every time um, so a retest of this broken structure would be a good first level to look at for a possible shorting opportunity or the top of the box i'm not sure if we're gonna get that or not and the level to look at is of course the uh, the bottom of the box to see if we're gonna get a break out of it for a possible continuation for uh, lower yeah so uh, very clear uh, range and um, easy traded i think if you look at it like this it is um, much easier when you have a defined range to work with yeah and we have a clear trend line that we want to see broken before continuation to the downside i think this pair have lots of uh, room to make some correction it's been going up a uh, very long time now euro Jappy we're still trading inside this box another box and another reason why i say keep playing those levels guys and um, it is uh, like uh, <laughs> very very simple traded market so far if we trade the edges of the box um, and uh, some of my traders in the room been doing this uh, i think uh, have um, trader was sold last friday at this level again so um yeah not we don't need to um, be very very uh, over smart and uh, over complicate things keep uh, buying the dip uh, the the lows and sell the highs of this box so another retest higher would be another possible sell and when we reach this level look for bullish evidence for a possible buy for another bounce until you get a break out of this box yeah as as it happened here if we look left we had this box we've been trading inside this box until we got a break to the upside and we start trading inside another box where the price got accepted no real continuation higher but sideways movement so this accumulation it is very interesting to know if uh, after this accumulation and the breakout to which side it gonna goes and it if we break to the downside if we keep selling the top of the box and um, your first take profit would be this level and uh, maybe you leave some um, open position to see if we're gonna get a break to the downside or not uh, upside um, room there is some upside room as you see the first level would be one for one uh, one for one even uh, would be a good level if we break out of side uh, outside of this range uh, or this possible flag so uh, there is uh, room to both upside and downside uh, on a break of this range here yeah euro sterling almost the same situation ranging market inside this box been uh, as you see here been trading inside this box for a long time now and the uh, same scenario goes here it is a very important level if we look left it is a clear support level now and um, yeah keep uh, playing that box until we got a breakout even here a bounce to the upside to the downside we want to see if it's gonna break to the downside or another retest of this major supply level i think the downside is more possible on this one so for me it's much better to keep selling uh, the, the the high uh, in case we have this impulse and this is a uh, possible uh, correction of that impulse and possible continuation for the cd leg here yeah so for me personally i prefer to sell uh, the top of this box instead <coughs> euro usd still uh, making 
a clear higher highs and higher lows we can't argue that since the move started uh, since we got this rejection here we got another uh, a nice move to the upside correction another move that broke all these highs put higher high higher close and then another correction and i'm looking for a possible another possible move higher to test the uh, maybe the 1.20 or the extremes around the monthly r1 and another retest of the yearly r2 at this level which this move may end um, so once again since we broke after this higher high higher close we broke this level retest uh, we didn't make a lower low we keep making higher highs and higher lows um, there is no reason to short this market yet so another retest back down to this flip zone as you see looking left it's been acting as good support and resistant level another uh, retest down here next week on lower time frame we maybe can look for a possible um, bounce from here for at least a break um, a test of this high and if that broken we may have some uh, higher but since once again, since we having an FB next week, so there is a possibility that we go um, sideways until Friday. And if we look what range we have on lower time frame and the possible side wave movement could, could be this range here um, till Friday, yeah. So we have these lows and these highs uh, to work with uh, short term next week until uh, we got a possible breakout and once again if we go to the weekly you look uh, and look left uh, you see how important this uh, level up here where we have the yearly r2 the monthly r1 of december is at that level so that gonna be also a very very important level to if we reach that to try to short from that level again but as for now it seems like uh, we had this break to the downside but then price got accepted back higher in uh, higher prices uh, the pair also need long term to make some uh, bigger correction and uh, as you see here this area here is still empty this gap is not filled yet so yeah maybe we're getting another retest of this level before we uh, probably make deeper correction i'm i'm not sure of that so let's just take it one week at a time sterling aussie performed very well last week but friday we got as we saw the aussie was a strong uh, pair and it did well against the uh, USD uh, even though uh, we had uh, before those Flynn news as I said and uh, with this uh, British engulfing uh, last Friday make things interesting so after uh, if we look left here we did actually break now and close above all these highs as you see here we are back at the Brexit lows at this level here we have the Brexit lows this area and um, yeah we broke above uh, once again uh, those breakout traders maybe are stuck in this trade now we do have a very possible level to reach of this move to continue down is of course another retest of this area that is possible and if that broken i'm sure there is a lots of stop loss pockets be below this candle wick here uh, in this area that may give it more momentum back down to this level but it is a bullish uh, still a very bullish move to the upside but once again since we got this bearish engulfing last friday at a very important level that may give this breakout to be a possible uh, fake out that make me a little bit interested but i want to see more uh, evidence uh, on this one uh, before really shorting so a possible double bottom on the four hour with some bearish divergence on the rsi um good um, good uh, bearish engulfing candle on four hour at this level here as a kicker that would be 
good for me to take a possible trade since the risk would be uh, not so high and looking for possible break of this level and possible continuation lower yeah but as for now uh, no more evidence than one bearish day is not enough <coughs> but of course if we start trading below this close once again and we hold this level there is a possibility that we as i said at least reach to this level back down here once again sterling jeffy another great performer and uh, you see this very good breakout of this uh, consolidation here it did a very long consolidation and uh, did retest of this now very very important support level i've been talking about the, this level for a long time since we broke out i've been saying by this level <laughs> by this level and once again by this level yeah so it's been a very good support level uh, still long term i can see this uh, may move uh, higher uh, since we seems to uh, be accepted at this level the price is accepted at this area uh, we didn't got uh, a rejection back down to this uh, to this range anymore so um, since we see acceptance in this level here um, we have another an yet another box to trade for a possible consolidation at this level yeah so so far so good the rsi was at the extremes uh, another retest a possible double top you can try to sell the top of the box toward the bottom and once again trade it back up if you get um, any reason to do so good uh, signal good uh, depends on what strategy you use and uh, your um, triggers yeah so here we have a possible fake out after this trade it down we make another nice higher high and another fake out and we got some uh, down tra trades uh, last friday so as you see we did a retest in one day we did a retest back down toward the monthly pivot of december so um what i'm looking like uh, at for at first for next week a retest of the 152 and uh, possible bearish evidence that would give me a nice uh, risk to reward trade uh, if we like put a stop loss somewhere 20 25 pips above this high the first target should be this low and of course if that broken there is a possibility for a much lower uh, on this one yeah but you get at first target if you get any good signal inside this area gonna give you at least i want uh, one to two uh, trade yeah that's what i like about it <coughs> sterling usd did also uh, trade lower on friday and um, we did reach now this uh, possible uh, supply level here uh, but for me um, I don't like the USD uh, nowadays so I think that sterling still strong strong much stronger than the USD of course uh, looking at the weekly we have a nice uh, move to the upside for green weeks and uh, I think that there is a possibility that we do another retest of these highs up here probably close this gap on the weekly too um, but is it here we want to buy no because as you see we've been moving for a long time no real correction lower just some spikes on news a back up um, so from this level rsi at the extremes um, around near uh, this area here of a possible supply level uh, we can try to um, look for a possible short-term um, sell 
if we have um, we start seeing some uh, lower lows and lower highs on uh, the four hour that would be good we have our first lower high here but that is not enough so we want to see another break of this low here another move to the upside that failed to break the highs that would be a good signal to try to short it uh, but it is a counter trend trade so you know you need to know that uh, continuation trade um, in this uh, move to the upside would be uh, to wait for another uh, retest to this neckline down here possibly to try a bounce and even better if we got um, the retest toward the monthly S1 uh, but that gonna take a little bit of time so I don't think we're gonna see <laughs> Uh, such a correction for next week with the NFP in mind I think um, we expecting a trend continuation trade from this level is more likely than uh, deeper to the uh, bottom of this box yeah <coughs> now when we broke outside of this uh, consolidation phase down here as you see it is a clear uh, level uh, we never got a real uh, retest of that level so that's why I would for a continuation trade that would be great uh, if we get a retest of this level to look for a possible uh, continuation otherwise the pair is at a good uh, possible level here up here uh, anything any test back inside this supply level here would be a good level to look for a bearish evidence uh, for a counter trend trade but as i said at the start lots of uh, news next week um, service um, pmi you should to look at that and uh, of course the most important how the brexit talks uh, goes yeah uh, so um, we do have um, lots of uh, important uh, headlines to take care of next week for the sterling um, yeah New Zealand CAD we broke outside of this uh, major trend line the pair was trying to make a higher high that would be a very good signal that we may keep going higher from this level but then uh, on those very good very good CAD news last week uh, we got this another move to the downside we had started already a downside movement on Thursday actually and Friday did push it much much lower so I am looking to see what will happen if or when the price uh, reach the monthly S1 level where we do have a previous structure support looking left this is the uh, extremes of uh, this uh, range at this level here so it should uh, keep acting as a possible support level looking left one two three times resistant here it holds here it holds here it is tested already in the near time uh, three times here this would be the third time so uh, point 87 area uh, toward the monthly s1 down here it is a good level to look at for a possible um, bounce back up from this level and a break below this level would send us much much lower as you see if we look left there is not much of uh, support so this is the first level and then this would be the second uh, support and the last almost the last defense line yeah so we do have this is the extreme but this would be the first level to look at this is the extreme and this is uh, the lowest low we have since a very very long time before we start looking uh, even more okay so start with the 0.87 area to look at for a possible bounce if we got some good new zealand numbers so far it doesn't look very very good but um, you never know what uh, news we can get yeah 
<coughs> New Zealand USD. I was looking for this possible inverted head and shoulder at uh, this level here since it is also a good uh, possible uh, support level if we look at uh, looking left here it's been uh, acting very good support we never reach it here but it is in the same area almost good resistant looking even more to the left as you see here it is a good flip zone uh, of support and resistant level at uh, this area here so after this a b c d move we had a nice bounce to the upside but then we broke below that uh, left shoulder we made a possible head we still uh, having a higher low here so far we didn't break below the head so this possible uh, inverted head and shoulder uh, still valid so far but it's not confirmed we do have a very nice bullish divergence on the daily as you see here between the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder here the divergence is very very clear to the upside the uh, bullish engulfing last friday was also another good uh, possible uh, buy signal uh, but we are talking about a uh, counter trend trade so those not you use not to be the most easy ones because the market gonna trick us uh, <laughs> many times before it goes we was expecting this move to give us a higher bounce we got nice trades from this uh, to the upside but as you see we got another break lower so very interesting level uh, I'm, uh, I am watching uh, this area once again for next week if we get uh, another retest around the monthly pivot or this uh, possible support level here that would be uh, the level where i'm interested to look for a possible bullish evidence on the four hour to try to take another uh, trade from this level in anticipation to break the neckline i don't like to uh, enter the market late at the break of the neckline here that would be late and uh, that would make me wait for a real break a retest and then enter uh, again but if i get evidence back down here a retest that would be much lower uh, risk uh, risk trade uh, the risk would be much lower yeah with good potential profit USD CAD, the same as uh, many CAD peers, we had a fantastic move on Friday. You see the range here is clear. We've, we've not, uh, we've, we never got a break yet, but uh, since it did move a double ADR, I think it was two and a half ADR, this uh, move here. Uh, which did erase the whole week gain with one day only or a couple of hours um, move you see it better on the four hour here we got the news and we got another bad news from uh, the usa about flynn which uh, gave us another push to the downside uh, there is a possibility that we see a gap on this one uh, on the open tonight i'm not sure looking at how it did uh, close with no wick at all uh, maybe give us a, a gap down below maybe let's see but uh, if we want to trade this textbook trade uh, to be more sure of course you want to see a break of this level for a continuation to at least these levels down here but for me once again another pair that i want to see at least a 50 percent correction of this move if it start uh, retracement from this area here i want to see some retracement toward the 50 percent 61.8 fibonacci would be even better where we do have this uh, previous uh, neckline here and uh, we do have the monthly pivot point at that level that would be great uh, so let's see but of course after such a great news and um, looking at the RSI we do have a nice divergence 
bearish divergence, um, very strong candle, uh, everything so far, if nothing's changed in the market sentiment, a correction higher and a possible continuation and hopefully break of this box toward this area would be perfect. So let's wait and see. <coughs> USD Jeffy um, did break below last month's pivot uh, S1 pivot. Let me put that on. And uh, but then seems like um, the market was interested to break back above that pivot point, possibly uh, positional traders. Uh, oops, what's going on? I just want to show history, please. Where is it? Hmm. Sorry, guys. Just a moment. I want to. Yeah. So as you see, we did break last month's S1 almost reached uh, S2 also, not really to uh, reach it, but since we had this support level that did uh, hold it well and got uh, a nice move back up above uh, last month's S1, we reached this month's uh, pivot point, traded a little bit at that level, and then we got uh, those uh, Flynn news once again, talking about that and got uh, this rejection and uh, yeah it seems like it there was lots of fear here but no one really did know uh, how bad it can affect uh, the usa economy yet so that's usually when we got such a news uh, the market uh, goes wild and crazy until everyone uh, really uh, start understanding what is it so bad is it is it not so bad and uh, take decision uh, if it was bad enough to keep going lower or not so this is looks like um, some hedging from here was surely uh, big institutions the, the the guys the big guys that went long long here uh, did probably hedge this news event and took some profit and uh, probably added more here when they did see that it is maybe not as bad at, as it sounded uh, from the start, yeah? <coughs> so, for now, if we go back to the daily, technically we did break some uh, good levels looking at this one and this one are now broken but we also reach another important uh, and possible support level that uh, we uh, the price did hold for next week i do expect possible uh, once again possible sideways so i think another retest toward this spike down here would be a good level around the 1150 under 1150 to try to look for a possible bounce from this level back towards this one and down again uh, i'm not sure that we are gonna see a breakout uh, before nfp uh, so uh, i think uh, i will be looking to uh, try to uh, trade this range uh, for next week <coughs> otherwise I was saying that as far we are trading above the 112 uh, level we should uh, keep looking to buy uh, USDM so if we hold above that once again and keep trading uh, try to break above the monthly pivot uh, there is a possibility that we uh, reach higher yeah but um, once again I want to this candle now gonna decide uh, this is gonna be like the mother of this um, possible next week range so a break outside of this one would send us much higher and a break lower uh, would send us toward the monthly s1 which is not uh, 
much yet but a break of the monthly s1 that would send that's much much lower yeah so keep looking for the uh, this possible range for next week uh, 1280 from 111.50 towards 112.80 is a possible range uh, for next week and that was the last pair i uh, didn't look uh, to the chat guys i'm sorry for that i see that cross crux is asking euro Jappy buying opportunity on uh, h4 good retest for previous high i think we've mentioned that already that yeah of, yeah um if we if we if you watch um, again uh, cracks I was saying that selling the top of this box is still uh, the valid the most valid scenario to sell uh, the highs of this box and um, or buying the lows of uh, this box would be also a good scenario since we are since we are still inside this um, this ranging market yeah so uh, there is not much else to do until we got a breakout uh timothy <laughs> you had a sell order on friday before news on what pair was it uh, the cat <laughs> if you are crying so i think it was the cat usd cat <laughs> hard luck buddy um yeah any other questions guys or any other pair you want me to look at those was uh, those were all the pairs i had to you today and uh, yeah once again i made it under one hour great bitcoin it all over the news just for fun can you <laughs> yeah i did look at it late, earlier today uh, it's looking crazy and uh, i don't like the idea that it is all over the news otherwise would be nice to buy it but i hate when things got hate so much hype yeah what to say about this chart carlos it is a crazy chart and uh, i think um, bitcoins is still in a discovery price discovery mode still though and um, yeah who knows I, i'm not sure what are the major fundamental behind it but i think there is a possibility that we keep moving higher because there is so many people in this world that don't know about it and uh, they are maybe uh, everyone will start opening a wallet and uh, there is possibly still lots of demand but since i don't understand the fundamental behind it uh, that's why i'm having a little bit hard time trade it because uh, i want to see what correlates what make it goes good or bad and uh, i'm not sure of that but if we want to really see some technicals now we have another new level to watch and that would be down here the nine thousand maybe ish this level after this spike we couldn't uh, break and close below it this is the first uh, level that we may could see as a possible buy but for me i think back down here or even lower to the 5000 that would be the ultimate buy but i'm not sure we really reached that level so 8000 ish down here 9000 ish up here uh, short term levels to uh, if you want to gamble some money without leverage i think is is uh, is very possible on that um mr mohammed asking for new zealand jp and uh, gpy i will look at it but in just a moment <clears throat> yeah yeah there is a possible correction um, but uh, the the moves are crazy this uh, this spike to the downside how much was it two thousand one hundred dollar eighteen percent of a move in one day so uh, anyone who want to trade it uh, please do it with uh, no leverage at all maybe 
and uh, try to find a good dip and buy it. Uh, Timothy, we did USD CAD uh, already. Let's do New Zealand Jappy till Mr. Mohammed. Um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, yeah, Mohammed, uh, I don't really like this chart, but um, let me go to the weekly. We do actually have a level here. Uh, we have uh, down at this area where we have this month's um, S1 pivot uh, and uh, we, we probably now bouncing at this uh, major trend line. Let me make it a little bit. So we have all the tests here as you see this uh, possible major trend line uh, maybe is holding now. We had a couple of uh, bullish weeks but uh, this move still to the downside and it is possibly so that we do have a bounce from uh, possible support here if we look where the price uh, did reverse right now yeah so yeah a possible good support level and um, if we go down to the daily we see what i don't like about it th though mohammed is those very very small bodied candles with the lots of wicks and if we look at the bearish moves the candles are much much bigger with a much more convenience behind them so what make me think that this particular move here looks more like a bearish flag uh, for me and um, that's why um, I don't think this support really found uh, the real uh, bulls and buyers yet um, last Friday was the first uh, good looking uh, candle with the more uh, body uh, big uh, body in it um, so yeah short term if we uh, I think Selling is still the option here, another retest of this level or even this level here to try to take another bounce to the downside. Counter trend wise, you want to wait for another retest of this level if you want to take a counter trend trade to try to uh, find a possible bounce from uh, this support area here back up. But as you see, even this little move, we the RSI is above the 55 now. Um, it is in a nowhere, it's not in a good place to trade it yet. You want to wait for a retest back down here if you want to take a counter trend. If you want to take a trend continuation, I would say back up to this area here uh, to find bearish evidence and uh, try to take a, a trade from this level back down toward these levels um, let's see how much it did retrace so far uh, yeah we are now testing the 38.2 which usually the first and possible level to look at for a retracement but uh, I personally like the more deeper retracements which would be the 61.8 at that level we do have this uh, possible structure that may act as resistant uh, and take a possible trend continuation i hope that answered your question mr mohammed yeah timothy uh, hard luck buddy but uh, there is more um, i think you're gonna have the chance to uh, buy more cat the news was very very good and I would uh, love to see some correction, as I said, 50% correction, even better if we correct all the way to the top of the box. Uh, I don't think we're going to see that, but um, you will have the chance because if we got some uh, retracement higher to try to sell it from 618 would be great and uh, hopefully uh, looking for a break of this box that would send you all the way down to this level here um, but once again it is a very very important week with the nfp and uh, all the headlines going on in the us so be careful perfect so uh, those were
all the questions those were all the chart i had thank you very much guys for being with me today and um, see you out there once again if you do like those sessions please uh, do not forget to hit the like button and uh, see you over telegram facebook youtube and twitter bye bye